Hey guys, welcome back. So this is episode 2 of uh, the Final Fantasy VIII Remaster Guide. So today, look, we're just going to be doing the Fire Cavern and Ifrit. Um, so, end of last episode, you know, Quistus joined the party. I showed you guys, you know, if you're interested in doing a little bit of uh, AP grinding early on, uh, go hit up those fish on the beach. That's probably that's going to be your best bet. But uh, once you're ready, just head over to the Fire Cavern. <coughs> And I mean, really, you uh, like they're about to ask you to pick a time frame to do this in. Uh, ten minutes is more than enough. And basically, the closer you get to zero with your time, the more points you're going to accumulate for your seed exam. So, you know, go ahead and choose whatever you want, but ten minutes is more than enough, like I said. Now, I'm just going to be running from all the battles in here because, again, I'm trying to stick as much as possible to a low-level game. Um, once you have got Ifrit at the end of this, you can come back in, obviously, anytime you want. If you want to uh, draw from any of the enemies and get some of their magics, I do recommend that before you come here, that you spend some time out on the world map um, drawing, you know, like, just some of the different magics, especially Blizzard, Blizzard and Cure, uh, big ones to try and get, get full stock of. Blizzard, if you equip it as an elemental attack, which, uh, we should learn about soon, um, will actually make Ifrit uh, a little bit easier. So you basically want one person to have the Blizzard junction to their elemental attack, and you want the other one to be casting Shiva. Um, as long as you can do that, you're pretty set for this fight. Now you don't have to worry about healing too much in this fight either, um, because you can actually draw and cast Cure from Ifrit himself. So if he is, you know, like you have one of your characters summoning the Guardian Force, and then you can actually have the other one uh, drawing and casting Cure for whoever he's hitting. So it's pretty easy. It's more of a time sink than anything because it is going to take you a few minutes of just fighting to get through this. Um, I'm actually chop out a big part of the fight just so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it, but um, at the end of this too we'll actually get the Ifrit card, uh, which is going to make doing some card farming after this a little bit easier as well. You do get a little bit of unique dialogue as long as you summon uh, Shiva on Ifrit. You'll see that pop up in a minute. He'll reference it again at the end of the fight here. But um, yeah, just power on through. You can see it, it took about five minutes to whittle him down. So that's it, we got Ifrit, we also get his card, um, so after this, where we're going to head, okay, 
least this is just going to give us an explanation for another tutorial. I'm just going to skip it. So after this, we're actually not going to head straight back to the garden um, where Quistus will leave us. But what we're going to do instead is head over to the Balam town and go and uh, just quickly see the Queen of Cards. So just make sure, yeah, you jump in and double check what all of your GFs are learning. So you want to focus on those magic refine abilities early on, uh, as well as card and card mod, if you're going for a low level game. Pretty sure this draw point just has fire, so I mean, yeah, skip it if you want, yeah, mine's already full. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to head straight for Balam Town from here. Now, I'll show you where the Queen of Cards is, but basically what you want to do is you want to challenge her to a game of cards, um, and then if the rule is not set to all, you want to exit out. Don't actually verse her at cards. You just want to keep challenging her and exiting until the rule changes from one to all. So once you've done that, basically what it means is when we go back to the Lamb Garden and challenge people to a card battle, if you win, you win all of the cards that they played with instead of just having to choose one. Um, it just makes farming a lot quicker. So there she is in the red shirt up there. So like I said, just challenge her to a game and then exit out. Okay, now that we are back, uh, we're done with that. We're gonna head back towards the garden. Quistus is gonna bail. And from here, if you are playing a low level game, I recommend that you wanna farm for you know, like as many cards as you can until you get bored, really. Um, but you definitely want to grab the Minimog and Quistus cards. And that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.